by special request, Mystery Soda from AliExpress. And if you take a look at the listing for this soda, it says new soldering wire, cigarette lighter, electric soldier iron. It even shows someone TIG welding with a roll of the soda, which is not right. Um, and uh, it also says that it's suitable for soldering things like stainless steel and aluminium. Not so sure about this. But uh, I bought the 100 gram reel of one millimeter solder, uh, 100 gram, 20 gram, no need solder, powder, soldering rods, low temperature, easy melt solder wire, silver universal welding rod cord weld wire. I've not even tried this yet. Maybe it is silver solder, but that's very unlikely. Um, the reel itself is quite amusing in the sense that it actually at the top it says in Chinese um, for stainless steel, it's got a picture of something that looks a lot. A lot like Colonel Saunders at the bottom of it. KFC, Kentucky Fried Consumables. So what we're going to do is this. And this is where it gets, it's quite funny because um, we've got a set of scales here. So let's zero that out and put it on. It said 100 grams. What do we have? We've got 99 grams. That's good enough. I've not used any of it yet, but that's close enough. But a lot of the negative comments about this soda said... Uh, the reel weighs more than the soldier itself, so we'll unroll it. Oh, I think I can see the inside of the reel. Oh, that is ridiculous. And we'll explore the reel and see what makes it so mysteriously heavy. I should put this out of the way. We can bring the scales back in later on. So to prepare for this, I have a circuit board I've put res resistors in. And I've also got a bit of what I believe is stainless steel off a roll of thin stainless steel sheet. I've just tried soldering some just to double check with a uh, standard lead-based solder. No hope it wouldn't adhere at all. So let's see what happens with this. This is also where I may destroy the solder iron. So what I'll do is initially I'm going to put this in a vise and I'll try my normal solder first and I'll solder a couple of these resistors in this circuit board and then I shall uh, have a go at this and see how it flows. Hopefully it is flux cord. It does allude to being flux cord. And then we'll try it with uh, this material. I was looking for thin aluminium. Couldn't find any suitable to do this with. Uh, something that's uh, thin enough that it's not going to basically suck all the heat away from a standard iron. But anyway, let's give this a go. I shall get it set up so you can see it really close. And we'll have a go. One moment, please. So to start off with, just for comparison, I'm going to flow some of my standard preferred soda onto these pads. It's very cold in this room. It would have helped if it was a more ambient temperature, but uh, the soda is flowing as I would expect it to flow. That's fine. That's a good reference. I would kiss by, goodbye to the soldering bit because this might now be destroyed by a random alloy that we don't know what it is. But let's try this other stuff. It may not even be the right temperature for it. We'll see how it goes. Well, it's flowing. Oh, the flux does smell just a little bit more aggressive. And let's try the resistors. Is this really one millimeter? It just seems a bit bigger. I wonder if this is... I wonder if this is lead-free solder. It's drying with a crustiness. It's not going down super well. Lots of flux coming off it. So there is flux core. And it's melting in little pulses. It doesn't look as shiny as the standard lead-based soda. It's got a patina on it. I'm going to try these again. This is maybe not the best uh, visual experience for you here. Oh, God, I've just gone everywhere there. Okay. Oh, that is very lumpy looking soda. That's not great. I mean, it would work in a pinch, but it's not my choice of soda. Maybe it is lead free and you know how much I hate lead free. Okay. So now we've done that, let's move this out of the way. Let's get this cardboard box and we'll get this piece of stainless steel. If it is stainless steel, I think it's stainless steel. I've had it for quite some time. And it also came from eBay, a technical seller in eBay that was selling good stuff, so I think it is okay. So let's uh, give that a clean just to get any corrosion off. It will stick that down with a bit of whatever tape comes to hand, which is a bit of captain tape. And I'm overhanging the edge. Actually, I don't need to overhang the edge, but I'll do it anyway. Um, just to make sure there's no heat dissipation when I press down onto this. So let's try this on 
stainless steel and see what happens. Is this going to be a disaster? Yes. Am I bothered? Hmm. Oh, shit. No, look at that. It's actually taken to the stainless steel. Oh, the smell of the flux is totally aggressive. Maybe not good for electronic components. Look at all the smoke coming off this. Okay, right. Okay, I'm flush with success now. I'm flush with success. Let's try a bit of aluminium, although this is absolutely going to suck the heat away. So it might not work, but you know what? There's no harm in trying. What is that? Hold on. Scrunchy, scrunchy. Sorry about the noise. Maybe it will have its uses. This is going to be such a heat sink. I mean, it is a heat sink. Oh, that's just not going to work, is it? Right, tell you what, I'm going to have to find some thinner aluminum to test this with. Okay, one moment, please. Okay, stand by for the kitchen file test. Let's make sure this is focused down onto there. Should have been for the other one, not to worry. Uh, let's try this. Uh, I would have thought that it would stick straight away to aluminium. It's not really want to stick to the aluminium. That's not really a surprise. Oh, the smell is absolutely unpleasant. I'll hold it there for a while. I'm kind of like it's possibly the heat's going, but it's cardboard at the back. It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, it doesn't really want to stick, does it? Having said that, there are techniques to soldering. Um, aluminium. If this was a, a more robust piece, what I could do is I could put some oil on it and then use something like a cleaning pen to scrub through the oil. I'll try that right now. One moment, please. Contact spray, just as a sort of light oil, then scrub through it and we'll see what happens. Just to expose the, the aluminium underneath. Oh, I think that's just basically evaporating straight away. Right, okay, so I think the aluminium might require a bit more effort than we're getting here. Or it might just not work at all. Anyway, let's do the weighing tests. I'll just set that up right now and then we'll pull all the solder off the reel and we'll see how much there is on it. One moment. Right, well, because of the angle of the lighting and the wonderful LCD displays, I've got a little flashlight here to light the display, put the solder on. It's still got 99 grams. I haven't used all that much. Let's pull the solder off. Let's pull it off. So, it does feel very strangely light. Soda. <laughs> right. Okay. So the soda is off. How much does the real weight on its own? It's feeling very heavy. Is that solid plastic? It weighs 61 grams. So that's 40 grams of soda, roughly. And the real weighs more. Then is this just solid plastic? Is there, I need to open this. Hold on. I'm going to open it. Let's get this label off, or let's just burst the plastic and see. Well, actually, this is going to make all the loud noise, isn't it? Let's see if we can peel it. Does this have, is this just solid plastic, or is it, is it hiding something else? Is there something inside it? Let's get a pair of cutters. And I'll move the, the scales out the way. Now we've ascertained that the soda was less than half the weight. We'll nibble into this, it's just... I think it's just solid plastic. It is, it's just, they've used a dense plastic and instead of making it hollow, it is possibly, is that a filler they've got in there? No, it's just very dense plastic that just weighs a lot. Uh, probably they have used a filler in the plastic itself just to make it heavier. Uh, so there we go. That is more or less it. So when you see this soda on AliExpress, just be aware that you're getting approximately less than half you were expecting. The weight is including the unusually heavy reel. And it does soda copper. It's not perhaps the best thing for soldering copper. Uh, but it definitely it does actually solder stainless steel. Although having said that, the... Uh, is this going to... Clean up okay. Maybe I should test this to make sure it's not wrecked the tip. Alloyed it with some something that's going to stop it working with my normal soda. Hold on, let's try soda with the normal soda. 
all is returned to normal. It's fine, yes, it's back to normal with that. For those who noticed, incidentally, it does say props and it does say BBC. This circuit board originates from work on a BBC reduction, Mission 2110, when it was suddenly realised that a little circuit board like this is very handy for small props. But the main thing to know, and no, it's not available for sale, sorry, strictly for friends in the industry, but um, the 100 gram, it's £2.57, it seems cheap, but you are getting that small quantity, and it, it does actually solder onto stainless steel, which uh, means that it may actually have uses, because that it's quite hard normally solder onto that, but it does suggest that the flux may be particularly aggressive. But that is it. The test is done. It's surprisingly how heavy this is. It's just ridiculous, the, the fakery that goes on, but an interesting solder nonetheless.